Yeah, thank you so much for your time. You are coming from the New York Film Fest. You are in Montreal right now as we speak. Yes. Catherine is giving a master class. Yes. Um, she's been, um, she's been, uh, I get, I got a sense out of watching in New York Film Fest how, how, how much love there is for her cinema. Yes. And uh, so it, it's, it's, it's quite nice to see that a decade later. Like we haven't forgotten about her. We've just been patiently waiting for it to come back. Yeah. And you're the lucky person. You're the lucky starlet. I'll, I'll call it like this. Um, so there's a pantheon of memorable, morally complex roles for actresses in Catherine's cinema. Yes. Um, so I imagine it's a great honor for you to be in her hands. Um, I was wondering, first, if you had the chance to see the original and it was sort of like in your distant memory, A, and B, when you meet Catherine for the first time, what's that dialogue like? Are, is she sort of like telling you what the character is or she's curious about what you feel the character is about? Should I answer B or A first? Go with, with whatever, well, whatever I want. Yes. So is she in... in um I think she's not really interested in when I, what I, what, at first time when I'm, I, I meet her for the first time, she's not really interested in what I'm gonna say. She's interested in watching me and scru 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 scrutinizing, scrutinizing me. Yeah. Uh, it's a meeting that we have done because we had both. We need both. I need it too, but I don't think she didn't really care about that. But I really, I need to feel if I could work with her, because. I do have boundaries, yes. and I know in her movies you have to go above yeah. some boundaries, yes. huh? even though I love her movies. Yes. So I had to, to get, I've, I've been hearing so many, hearing so many things about Catherine, yes. Rhea, yes. that I don't know at that time, yes. that I really have to do this uh, meeting, and she wants to meet me because she doesn't, she's not convinced I can be the character. She doesn't really want me, at first, I've, uh, I think at the beginning she was thinking out of, of another French actress. I hear you. Uh, and she was obsessed by it. And, the, and with another act, young actor also, the cast was different. And it didn't turn out like she wanted for, for reason of, you know, schedules, things. Yeah. And so the producer, Saeed Ben Saeed, who I've been working with, was really believing in the fact that we were going to work together. It, it would go well. So he organized the meeting. So she really didn't, didn't want me. And I didn't know if I was able to be in her film, but I really love the script and I really love her movies. Mm -hmm. So that's a good point. And it went fine. It went fine. She was looking at me and talking on, only about her cinema. I didn't talk much. Okay. I was just listening. Okay. You know, it was like a master class of her, how she directs. Uh, she was alre already talking to me about the direction she was going to mm -hmm. give to this movie, mm -hmm. the difference she thinks it will be with the Danish movie. Mm -hmm. um, what she think about the intimate scenes, how she want to shoot it. So it was a very long monologue that I was listening to. And I, I, I went, she, she took me back to the door and said, yeah, you're much more pretty than I thought. And uh, be careful with the, your lipstick, you know? And, and, that's, and, and we were on the movie together. That, that started the relationship. That's fascinating. <laughs> so she's always thinking about you as someone, is, are you gonna get in the painting? But she had to see me first. She's almost appraising you as you're having that coffee or that discussion. Yeah. Yeah. Fascinating. Yeah. Yeah. Um, so I love how the narrative juxtaposes her professional life and professional life, like her hierarchy in the system and how she exerts power in her private life. But there's a very fine line between losing control and giving up control. There's a very, very fine line. So this text, it's, it's very non-judgmental, this yes. text. Um, did you find yourself reevaluating Anne's motivations as you're acting from sequence to sequence, yes. day to day? Yeah. Are you, like, how are you, how are you discovering the essence of that character? Yes, I, I, um, I, I was surprised as I was shooting the movie. Usually I prepare a lot. I did prepare a lot. Mm -hmm by myself. Of course. Um, and uh, I, it's maybe one of the m most interesting experience working with Catherine because I have been surprised almost in every scene in the direction mm -hmm. that we were taking. Like it was not at all what I thought. But there was a strong faith and a strong trust in what she was doing and I was really really admiring the choices she was making because it was very risky all the time. And I'm obsessed with cinema, she's obsessed with cinema. So we got a link together with that. 
that is where my truth was. So I would follow everything, you know, I would never say, no, I don't think my character would do that. I think I did build something about why is this woman doing this monstrous mm -hmm. denial as she is an advo uh, a lawyer defending very young people who are, has been abused. She really knows that she's a total conscious woman. She's not, uh, you know, too light or she's smart and she knows what she's doing. So why is she going that far? And I did fi find the motivation in myself mm -hmm. about defending your family no matter what. And you can be a monster doing that. And of course, I didn't want to be judgmental about this woman because if I was, I couldn't. You do couldn't it. access. I that. couldn't act yeah. the character. Yes. And what was interesting me, and what I love in, in Catherine's movie about how she goes in the abyss of the desire, in the in the dark side of the mm -hmm. desire. Mm -hmm. And it's movie. It's a movie. It's a, it's a cinema. It's not a. Theor theoretical, theoretical, yeah, theori 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 theoretical, yeah. yes. A movie saying uh, this. What what is this relationship? It it it. We're always in the in something uh, ambiguous mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and dark mm -hmm. and unstable. And and I like that the audience can be able to make his own judgment. You I know? think just in the row that I was sitting in, everybody was making their own type of judgment. Yes. I think everybody's accessing this, this film, this, the character set on different levels. They're, we're bringing much more, we're doing a lot of the homework as we're actively watching this film. But I, isn't I, that great we're, that's we're, when we're an audience? That's yes. what I love about yes, the movies. Absolutely. I don't want to know no, everything. Don't, don't tell me how to feel. Yeah, and, and, and so I have some friends who tell me, uh, Oh, she's a predator. Or she's a toxic woman. Interested, huh, In the mm -hmm. movie, they like mm -hmm. but this. And other people I know that you would be surprised that they feel like that. No, I think it, there's love between them. So it's it's very confusing, like life. That's why I loved it so much. How, um, I wanna I wanna talk about specifically about the long takes. It invites the viewer to look into Anne's multiple, triple. Um, emotional um her th her thinking on so many different levels we oui. yeah um because what she's presenting in a given moment how she's feeling in a moment is not is not necessarily correlated to what she's thinking what she's feeling and what she's thinking are two different things yes and what the long take allows us is to really get into a like what a great performance this is because th it's so layered but also just the, the fascinating aspect of how splintered this person is. So I was just wondering about the, the long take. I, you know, you have three decades of cinema in you, mm -hmm. but how, how, what are you able to access as an actor when the camera's there for six, seven, eight minutes? Well, what does that do for you? But there's, there's something about, uh, of course, abandoning yourself in front of the... Uh, there's something, it, it doesn't, you don't do it in one, shot mm -hmm. you know it's something that takes time it's something about uh, allowing to not control everything I mean I, in performing I think in acting it's also what we try to what we dream to do when we're an actor is to uh, so in a way lose control and not act but be someone mm -hmm. live something mm -hmm. to be in the you know something that in France, we say quelque chose qui t'échappe. Yeah, something that you don't control. Yeah. So, it, as I said, it's 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 about it's a very trustful thing with the direction because you cannot do it if you if you don't believe in what we are all doing in a collective way because it's also the camera, it's also the role of the DP, it's also it's it's a collective work. Me, the DP, Catherine, the sound engineer, Samuel, and 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 you just. I just thought that whatever happens will be there and something will probably uh, happen that I don't even know about yes, myself. Yes, exactly. That I exactly. don't even know about. It's, it's very weird. In cinema, can, in theater, it's more difficult to do this. Um, even though I think in theater you can do a lot of uh, great experiences, but this... But you have to hit marks in theater. Yeah. You have to hit yeah. marks, you have to hit yeah. very specific ideas, whereas here... But the close-up, they get into your soul. Yeah. And you, uh, yeah. I love the insertion of the tattoo sequence. It's a precursor to their shared intimacy. It ferments the idea of feeling something 
other than boredom. It's a feeling of renewal. It's, a feel, it's something that's alive. There's something very seductive about this, the ritual of getting a tattoo. Um, how much fun is it to work with a newcomer? You, you had done it in custody with, yes. the, with the, Thomas. And so how much fun is it for you to guide, to, to be aware of your performance, but then to guide somebody else that might not, has the, the he has the magic dust, right? Yes. He's new. Yes. And for that, there's so much, that, I mean, that's, there's so much fun and beauty in finding yes. that in the performance because it's raw, it, but absolutely. also you have to d help direct them in a scene on some level. Absolutely. So how is it to, to play mom roles and to like harness and, and to have them on the same level as you as well? Well, it, it gave me, um, I, I, I really love working with, with very young actors mm -hmm. because as you say, there's, some, there's something raw and there's something we adults lose yes. as we are more and more experienced. Yes. There is something that we lose about this uh, very pure thing that we also have to protect. Mm -hmm. That you want, I'm a mom in my life, so I, I have something not on the set with Samuel, of course, but you feel responsible in some way of the scene with a young, very young actor. Yes. Because I'm the older one and so I'm responsible. But there is something um, if you accept that on the set you are humble about it and you have no lesson to give them. They have lesson to give you, usually. Mm -hmm. A very strong lesson of, a, of a, I don't know, emotionally. They are so open they and, might be and more connected to a scene too yeah on some level and 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 samuel was ab absolutely amazing and all the the the, the things the problem the things i was scared of saying how am i going to resolve this how am i going to be able to guide this relation without being ridiculous or grotesque or samuel would resolve anything and everything but not intellectually of course in total gut instinct yes mm -hmm. and um uh, I made a point, even in preparation, even though I didn't meet him in preparation because we met on the set. Oh, okay. Yeah. But I was always thinking about, in, uh, about him and thinking on how I could um, secure everything the most possible. So, but he was way upper than what I thought, like in the intimate scenes, for example, which I was very worried about. He was, although she, he, he's a poet, in, he's not at all this character, he's mm -hmm. very gentle. He would dive more bravely than I could even be able to. Fascinating. So uh, there was no place for me to say, oh, I'm a I had to go for it and did, follow. Did you know, did, I imagine on some level on, in the social circles in your industry, you, you know his mom. You probably... Yeah, yeah I, you, Irene, Irene Jacob. So you probably knew on some level, you probably saw ce gamin -là when he was four or five years no, old. No, I have never, I have okay, never okay. Meet, meet him okay, before. Okay, 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 no, no, I've never met him when he was a small... Okay, okay, okay. okay. I, yeah, no. no, um, no. I just knew him on this movie. That's so But cool. I know Irene, yes. That's, that's cool. Yeah. Um, and they are a family who is totally into art and cinema and oh, I love the French and and, I love and, the French. and they love what, movies of Catherine Breyer they to he, he, they totally understand what we were talking about and Samuel yeah, knew what foreign. every scene meant and he even kept meeting Catherine after the shooting she would take him to see Mulholland Drive and David Lynch's movie Beautiful. making his oh. yeah it's wonderful oh, God. he gave us Aquarius El Benedetta synonym which you're yeah. in um, you have an upcoming film with him in 2024. What does it mean to have uh, Saeed Ben Saeed back a project? He backs his filmmakers, he backs art, he backs difficult subject matter that nobody touches anymore. Yes. Uh, and, and, and for that, he's a gift to people like Catherine who... He's a gift to cinema, I would say, yes. because he really takes high risks. Exactly. And, and he, in a very s smart way, I think, and he's a, he makes bets. I mean, when, when I, I, I had this call saying, I want to send you a script, it's mm -hmm. a, he told me about the Danish movie that he took the rights. And, yes. Um, and he was uh, thinking, he said that, uh, that how he managed to get Catherine Breillat back to the cinema because she was far in Portugal and probably thinking she would never shoot a, a movie again. Mm -hmm. you know? mm -hmm. And he made her come back and 
I mean, this is so, such already a strong vision. You have to be really in love with cinema to have these kind of ideas. Yes. Um, and also, he's a, a producer which I feel very secured with because, mm -hmm. as I said before, this movie I was scared to do. <coughs> I, I loved it. I loved the, the, the ambition of yeah. it. But also, I was thinking, am I able? And <coughs> he was someone who is very... He, he's, he's very... Uh, um, he makes it secure, mm -hmm. you know, he, which is he, very, very important. Very important. Yes. And uh, no, I was very. I think I'm very lucky to have uh, been able to work in few movies before with him. Mm -hmm. And he has this, this idea, connecting mm -hmm. people, and mm -hmm. it was a great connection, me and Catherine. It, it it really made something for me that I have never done before. It. Uh, Give me, it gave me a lot of, even if it's very difficult to shoot with Catherine, she's a high temper. But, uh, as a, you know, when you love cinema, you're so happy to be in those strong visions, yes. right? even if it's radical. Yes. I want to say, like, if I were to look at your filmography, for me, there's like a major, major footnote. It came out, I think 2018, it was at the Venice Film Festival, and I went to TIFF, Xavier Legrand's Jusqu'à la Garde, Custody. Wait. This is when I, I don't want to say I didn't take notice of you before. Obviously, oh, you you're, can, you're, huh? you're part of the <laughs> curriculum. But for me, it's such a it's such a defining moment in your timeline. Um, Lucas Dant would see that film, yes. cast you in his film. Yes. And I want to say maybe Catherine didn't know you, but maybe she got to see those two films. Yes, she did. Um, so what I didn't know when I was looking up your credits is that you actually had done a short with Xavier. Yes. So I was curious if you had developed a shorthand on the short and that when you found each other on the feature film that, that you had a rapport that had already been installed that gave him confidence in putting you in, like it's a, it's a pulverizing role. It's such a memorable role. Yes, I still is. talk about this, excuse me, I still talk about this film to this day. Yes, yes, no, it's, it's very important. It, it was very uh, important for me in, all the, in many ways. Mm -hmm. What I really love about that story also is that that short movie yes. is maybe one of the most important things I have done because he, Xavier Legrand was an actor. actor from theater. Yes. I didn't know him at all. Yeah. And he came to a theater where, where I was acting a play that was not working at all. I, I was feeling very miserable. And he came, he came with the script. And he said, I wrote this short movie script for you. I was thinking about you. And, and he gave it and he almost ran away, you know. <laughs> and I came back home and I was thinking, really, oh, I wish somebody would propose me a long feature movie, you know. And, uh, and I read the script and I was amazed by the script. Mm -hmm. And I talked about it to my, to my fiancé okay. and okay, okay. I said, that's amazing, I would, you know. And so we went to do the short movie, not knowing what was going to be the career of the short movie, hoping it could go in festival in France. And it won prizes everywhere. Uh, I received a message from Ciudad Juarez in Mexico. And it, we went to the Oscars. We had a Caesar with it, and yeah. we went to the Oscars yeah. with this short yeah. movie, which was really amazing. We were like kids in the in the middle of the it's ceremony. It's needle in the haystack. It's, it's it's near impossible to have a short film, live action, but nominated for yeah. the Oscars. It's so, impossible. So it starts with a miserable feeling because your show in theater is not working. Mm -hmm. I love the play, but it was not working. Yeah. And it ends at the ceremony of the Oscars with a short movie we all believed in, but who, we could never imagine how, how, how strong the, the, the career of, the, uh, of this short movie would be. And then Xavier was able to do his long feature movie. And he could have chose any actress and any actors in France who were much more famous than Denis Ménochet and I. He could, really. Mm -hmm. and, uh, and we knew that those things happened. But no, he took us again. And he took all the crew from the short movie, and we did custody. So it's a miracle, and it's a beautiful story of, of making a film. And and I love the movie, and it was a. It's 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 amazing how those this kind of movie talks about violence and domestic violence, and it was high and emotional. It was very tough for all of us. It's a medicine ball to the stomach. It, it's, it, it's, it's it's pulverizing. It's and also we were shooting this thing maybe. 
we would say, who is going to go and see a movie about domestic violence? We were not sure at all that people would go and see it. And they did, and it had a great career also. We had Caesars, it, 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 it was amazing. And Xavier Legrand is very gentle on the set, so you, do not, you, you can do rough movies and, be, and having a very, very fascinating, uh, nice and gentle. Yes, which is needed on some level. For those kind of subjects, I think so. What's, what's great about that film is he, he had the balls to begin with the process. Oui. Like, like, and that, that, like after 10 minutes, I'm looking at my watch, I'm like, I can't believe we're going there. Yeah. And the confidence to do that, I, I, I found it great. Another yeah. film role that broke me was their supporting character in, yes. in Lucas's film. Yeah. There's a, there's a scene where you go on the bus and I started crying before I think you even opened your... You started going into dialogue yeah, in that terrible. scene. Yeah, it's terrible. It's... Um, <laughs> when you're getting a supporting character with very little... Yes. You know, oh, there's yeah, not... Yeah. It's, there's 110 pages and maybe you're in 20 pages. Yes, yes, lucky. yes, yes. It's true. Are you... Do you have to go to a special place to invest yourself more emotionally? Do you, do you, do you read... The character, the other character is more intensely, what, like, how do you as an actress get a little bit more out of something that's very little? Mm -hmm. uh, having a conversation with him as uh, before, before I accept the role, I had this conversation with but first, uh, I, I, first of all, and that's the most important, and I, I have seen Girl, and yes. uh, when I saw Girl, it, it was the first day of release in Paris, and I went out and said, oh, I would love so much to work with Lucas Dont, with this guy, one day. It was a dream. And one day you get a message on Instagram, and this, <laughs> this Lucas Dont say, oh, I wish you could be in my movie. Like, it, it's amazing, you know, the, the, those kind of moments. So, I think in, deep, in, in, in the, uh, how do you say, uh, um, I was feeling I, I could do anything in the Lucas Dunt. Whatever he asked me, mm -hmm. I would do because mm -hmm. I really want to see how, see how this guy is working with actors. And uh, then we had conversation about the, the role and was I going to do... I, I, didn't, was, I didn't know him well, so am I going to do something really... Will I have the space to do something really uh, for this part? And, in the conversation, he said, how, he explained to me how this character was so important. Mm -hmm. And uh, I already made my decision that I wanted to work with him anyway. And I was so happy on this set. It was fun. It was an amazing experience because with, with Lucas Don't, life and movies is totally connected. Mm -hmm. It's as you are... Uh, uh, cooking at his home and gone and uh, ma uh, uh, making margaritas, cooking a Mexican dinner. The costume designer is coming and say, could you, could you try a shirt for me? Everything is totally mixed. Interconnected, yeah. And suddenly there's a camera. But uh, as, when the camera was there, I have been talking for hours with Eden, walking in the woods, uh, all the connection with the other characters. The family is built and mm. the family... And we, we, I even know now how to drive a tractor. Yeah. Uh, how do you say a tractor? Yeah, a tractor. tractor. A tractor. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I know how to drive a tractor. But you tools. don't see it in the movie. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But it gives you a sense of the 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 the, the how much work it is to make a movie like that. Yeah. To see to 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 be working with the family of horticulteurs. Yes. Have, you know, so it's even small scenes you see in the movie but it's so important to build this atmosphere and this family and this, all the relationship that the camera can you can't do it uh, coming just for tuesday and having meet the people maybe two or three times that that doesn't happen that movie can happen so it wasn't i would do anything with lucas uh, Leah, it's been a pleasure oui, getting to speak to you <laughs> and thank you for... Thank you for your enthusiasm. I, th I think this is my personal bias, is as much as I love uh, Nuri Bill Cheyenne's oh. film and the actress Me did too. a great job, I, I felt that this was your award. You, ah, you should have won the Best Actress that's Award nice. in Cannes. That's that's my uh, personal opinion. It's nice, but I really love Nuri Bilgesel. I yeah, think he's too, one of, of the best directors of, of the world. And so. he gave her a great part, and she's yes. great. But uh, yes. that's my own personal thing. And Thank I, you. I was, I was hoping for it when I was in Cannes. But um, yeah, I'm just I'm so happy for for the output that right now that you're giving. It's so so fascinating and interesting. So uh, yeah, I, I hope that the magic dust really 
okay. really falls on you, yes. I'm taking. <laughs> hey, this is Eric from MyOwnCinema.com. If you want to support us, subscribe below. For more reviews, interviews, film festival coverage from Sundance, Cannes, Toronto, you want to check out these guys on this side.